of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Yes, <laughs> all that he says. Uh, you know, when I first started in business, there was a lot of dirty work to be cleaned up. And I says, oh, a uh, lot of treachery, huh? He says, no, I started as the manager of a laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I never know whether to believe you or not, Stubby. <laughs> you seem to have an endless supply of jokes. <laughs> We've looked all over his house, Fred, but we haven't been able to find where he hides them. <laughs> I hide him right up here in my think tank. That's where I hide him. You think just because the feller has white hairs all over his head that there ain't nothing going on inside? Yeah, well, I never think that about you, old-timer. <laughs> How about you, Fred? Uh, how's business? Oh, looking up, Bill, looking up. <laughs> now what? I was just thinking... But the only way for a business to look up is for it to be flat on its back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's one expression I'll never use again. <laughs> well, come on, you young whippersnapper. Maybe Bill and Fred have the time to stand around and join, but those of us who work for a living have things to do. I'll stop by the station later in the morning, Stubby. You know where you can reach me. Maybe today I'll finally get it cleaning out that back room. Are you cleaning that place again? No, I'm cleaning it still. Goodbye, Bill. Stumpy. <laughs> Bye, Henry. <laughs> <now. laughs> so long! Hey, Stumpy sure is a character, Bill. What would you do without him? That's a question I try to put off thinking about, Fred. I can't imagine what the station would be like without the old-timer, his harmonica, and his jokes. <laughs> yeah, well, how long... Uh... How long do you think he'll uh, be with the Rangers? I mean, before he retires. That's hard to tell. Well, doesn't his age start to show? Like when you have something especially energetic to do. Well, again, Fred, I'll have to say that I just don't know. You see, even if Stumpy were slowing up a bit, his experience makes up for it. He's always one of the first to locate difficulties and solve the kind of problems we run up against. So, you see, Fred, I just don't know. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter, he... He's got enough sense to retire when the time comes. Sure. But I'm certain he'll be with us for a good couple of years yet before he retires. Good morning, Mr. Hayes. Mr. Jefferson. Good morning, uh, Mrs. Purdy. Good morning, Mrs. Purdy. My, isn't it a lovely morning? I came out to shop right early just to enjoy it all the more. Yes, it is. I was just saying a little while ago that business is about to start looking up. <laughs> I wasn't going to use that expression, was I? <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, the, the coming of the nice weather brings more business to the stores. Oh, you uh, haven't been doing very well this winter? Oh, no, it isn't that. Uh, I've done fine. It's just that the overall volume will probably pick up. Oh, now, now that's all right. I understand perfectly. You don't have to talk about it. But... Uh, Bill, uh, just as I was coming up, you were talking about somebody retiring. Wouldn't be dear Stumpy now, would it? Retiring? Oh, that. Uh, we were just speculating as to how long it would be before he might retire. Expect it soon, do you? Oh, I'm afraid not. If I know Stumpy, he'll never be ready to retire. Uh-huh. Well, it's been nice chatting with you. I really must be going. Uh, Good morning, Mrs. Bye, Purdy. Uh, Mrs. Purdy. Good day, gentlemen. Uh, I suppose it's just the way she is, but... She sure tries to nose in on everybody else's affairs. You know, Marion tells me she's the biggest gossip in Naughty Pine. Ah, uh, that wouldn't be a bit of gossip itself, would it? 
<laughs> yeah, you're right, Bill. Uh, sorry. A long time ago, I saw what dangerous things can happen from a bit of gossip, Fred. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, this is no time to preach on the subject. I've got to get over to the bank, then to the station. Nice uh, bobbing into you, Fred. Hey, likewise, Bill. Listen, give us a call sometime. We'd enjoy seeing you more often. Is it really the best brand? It's the only brand of that stuff we carry, ma'am. Well, oh, all right, I'll try it this once. Amelia, I thought I recognized your voice. Charlotte, how good to see you. Say, Charlotte, have you ever tried these? Mm, yes, uh, we did once. Why? Well, I was just making up my mind whether or not to buy them. How did you like them? As I remember, Herb thought they were all right, but I didn't like them. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll let him go. Oh, say, have you heard the latest from over at the ranger station? Land sakes, I didn't even know they did anything that might even interest me. What is it? Well, I don't think I ought to be telling anybody this, Charlotte, but you're such a close friend. I, I know you won't let it get around. I overheard Bill Jefferson telling Fred Hayes this morning, right outside Fred's door, that Stumpy Jenkins is retiring. No, I heard Bill himself say it. Knew Stumpy was getting up in years, but oh, I didn't... Oh, it might not be as simple as all that, Charlotte. Oh, that's right. I only asked a few simple questions about it, but it seemed to me that Bill was awfully evasive. You mean you think they might be forcing Stumpy out? I wouldn't want to be the one to say it, but he did say that he was afraid Stumpy wouldn't retire on his own. Well, what does that sound like to you? Terrible. Just terrible. A fine man like Stumpy Jenkins being forced out of work. Wait till my Herb hears about this. Oh, I wouldn't tell anyone about it, Charlotte. I mean, I, I might be wrong, but I've only told you what I've heard. Don't worry, Amelia. Thanks very much for letting me in. I'm sure it will come as a shock to the whole town. A fine man like Stumpy. Stumpy? A fine man like Stumpy Jenkins? That's exactly what I told Amelia. It's shocking. To think that Bill Jefferson is practically throwing him out. I always thought Bill was such a nice man. He was always straight with me. Maybe they've had some sort of disagreement. Can't think of any other reason. Of course, that would explain it. I'll get it, Herb. You just finish your dessert. Hello? Oh, hello, Bertha. No, we were just finishing. Oh, that's all right. What's that? Tonight? Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. This is the night the town council is meeting. Yes, her plan's on going. Is Ed? Uh-huh. Well, sure, I'd like to get together. Have I got news to tell you? What? Oh, it can wait till I see you. Well, if I tell you what it's about, I'll have to tell you the whole thing. Oh, all right. It seems that over at the ranger station, Bill Jefferson and Stumpy Jenkins have had a fight. That's right. And because Bill is chief ranger over there, it seems that he's firing him. We don't know that for certain, Charlotte. Uh, just a minute, dear. I'm on the phone. Uh, oh, no, Bertha. Herb just shouted something to me. What's that? Of course it's true. Amelia Purdy heard the whole thing this morning herself. We'll talk more about it tonight, Bertha. I'll see you then. Uh-huh. Thanks for calling, dear. Goodbye. <laughs> my, my, the way you men have been chattering among yourselves, you'd think this was a ladies' meeting. <laughs> Well, I can see that I'm going to have to throw aside Roberts and his rules and start with new business. 
I do that just so I can find out what it is that you're all talking about. Now, we're talking about the shake-up over at the ranger station, Your Honor. Uh, we're wondering whether the town council ought to take any official action on the subject. Well, that's a good question. I can't even think of an answer for it. But uh, maybe if one of you gentlemen would let me in on what this shake-up's all about, I could uh, help us come to a decision. Well, Your Honor, it seems our <coughs> wives have scooped us on this story. They've, we've just been putting the pieces together. As near as we can figure it, Mrs. Purdy was walking by the ranger station this morning early and heard Bill Jefferson and Stumpy Jenkins really going at it. Uh, going at it? Well, uh, fighting, as near as we can make out. I, I find that a little hard to believe. Well, so do we, except for the fact that Bill is making Stumpy retire from the rangers. Is that so? Uh, that's right, Your Honor. I, heard. I don't like to come right out and accuse Bill of anything. He's always been straight with me. But it sure sounds like he's pulling rank on the old-timer. Yeah. Has uh, anyone actually talked to Bill or Stumpy about this? I saw Bill this morning, Your Honor. Was any of this mentioned? I wish I could remember exactly what happened. Uh, I never gave it a thought until I came here tonight. And What do you mean, Brad? Well, it seems to me that we did mention Stumpy's retiring... Uh, I can't remember what was said. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was in a direct conversation with Bill? That's right. Uh, it's beginning to sound as though there's something to it. Oh, of uh, course there's something to it. There may be a lot of kidding about nosy wives, but mm -hmm. our wives wouldn't deliberately start anything like this. Uh, besides, Fred says that even Bill mentioned it. Seems to me we ought to put Bill in his place. I don't like him pulling rank on the old man and getting rid of him just because they've had a little fight. That's the way I feel. I think so, too. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen. gentlemen. You know, as I see it, we don't have any business meddling in ranger affairs. I know how y'all feel about Stumpy. I feel the same way. But uh, I don't think it'll be wise to try to tell the rangers how to run their affairs. But, Your Honor, what if Bill gets away with it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. Well, I, I, uh, I, if he gets away with it, he'll have to look himself in the face the rest of his life. But uh, there may be other ways than coming right out and saying something to him about it. What do you have in mind, Your Honor? Well, um, we all like Stumpy a whole lot now, don't we? Sure do. Um, enough, maybe, to have a testimonial dinner for him? You see, if the whole town uh, gets behind the idea that Stumpy's really a swell fellow, uh, Bill can't help but see what a mistake he's making. Sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact, uh, we might even go a step further in pushing Bill to his senses. How are you going to do that, Your Honor? Why not have Bill, uh, because he's known Stumpy for so long, why not have him give the main speech of the evening in praise of Stumpy? Wow. That's a corker. Good idea, Your Honor. As for the dinner of the main speaker, I, uh, I so move. Agreed? Aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Carried. Herb and Fred, I'm appointing you a committee of two to make the necessary arrangements. Because we'll have to move fast to avert any action to get rid of Stumpy, any plans you make will be okay with me and no need to tag. Knock, knock! Who's there? Uh, Greta! <laughs> Greta who? Greta Long, little doggy, Greta Long! <laughs> <laughs> you sure sound chipper today, Stumpy. Well, why not? All week, people seem to have been going out of their way to be nice to me. Can't figure out why, but uh, can't say you mind. Huh? You and Bill ought to get together. Maybe some of your cheer would rub off on him. Huh? Why? Oh, he was just in here. Seems to be feeling pretty low. Oh? Well, what's the matter? Didn't say. You know how Bill is. He doesn't bother anybody with his problems, but I think it's the way people seem to be acting toward him. Have you noticed? Can't say to have. Huh. Now, where'd he go? I think he's gone over to Sam's for lunch. You could probably find him there. I think I will. Uh, thanks, Henry. Why, Stumpy, 
Humpty Jenkins. Huh? How nice to see you. Oh, hello, Mrs. Rogers. Uh, nice day. Nicer now. There's something about your happy face that brightens the day. I didn't even know I was smiling. I don't know how Bill can do it. Huh? Oh, I, I know I'm not supposed to know about it, but the whole town does. No? About what? About your... your trouble with Bill. What are you talking about? I knew you'd be this way, but it's no good. We all know about your fight and the awful way he's forcing you to retire from the Rangers. But... You couldn't know... Oh, dear, I've let the cat out of the bag, haven't I? I really must run along before I say any more. Uh, just remember, Stumpy, we're all behind you. <laughs> What's she talking about? Bill and me, fight, retire. <laughs> for lunch, Bill. You seem to be the only one who wants to, Stumpy. Sit down. <sighs> Maybe you can explain this cold shoulder treatment I've been getting for the last couple of days. Even Sam hardly says more than to get my order. There are a couple of things that I've got puzzling me, too. Maybe we could put them all together and make something out of it. Okay, shoot. Well, on the way over here just now, I ran into Mrs. Rogers. She said the strangest things about you and me fighting and making me retire from the Rangers and that the whole town was behind me in this. All I want to know is what's up. She said all that? That's right. Well, if such a thing were true, I could understand why the people of Naughty Pine would be down on me. But where would they get such an idea as that? Beats me. I can't remember having a fight with you since the ones we used to demonstrate for those life-saving courses. <laughs> and as I remember, you always won. <laughs> so it did. <laughs> Hello, Stumpy. I thought I recognized your laugh. I... Oh, I... I didn't notice you were in here too, Bill. Shouldn't I be? Oh, nothing of the kind. But you were surprised. Like our sitting here together was the last thing you expected. Sit down, Mayor. Stumpy and I have a few things to ask you. So, that's the whole story, Bill. Naturally, I was surprised to see you two eating and laughing together. It's unbelievable. How does a thing like that start? I'm sure I can't tell you, Bill. I've told you the details just as they got to me, and I don't think I've added anything to them. That's probably the whole thing right there. Somehow, somewhere, a comment or something got started, and everybody added their bit. And look at the way it developed. Bill, I'm sorry to have had any part in this at all. I'll call a special meeting of the town council and cancel all plans for the dinner. I'll also make it very clear what I think of the whole rumor. Uh, Your Honor, if I may, I'd like to offer another suggestion. Well, whatever you say, Bill. If it's all right with you, let's go through with the dinner as planned. Um, go through with it? That's right. I'm sure most of Naughty Pine will turn out for it, including all the steps in the rumor. I don't know of a better way to get them all together at one time. Well, once you get them all together, what you going to do? I'm supposed to be the main speaker, right? Yes, you are. Oh, I see. <laughs> you can use the opportunity to set a few things straight. Exactly. That is, if Stumpy doesn't mind his testimonial dinner being used that way. <laughs> mind? I hope you'll have something for me to do in it. This is the best idea I've heard in a long time. Well, in that case, I won't say a thing to anyone. We'll all go on as though the story were true about you and Stumpy. Fine. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, that's all right, Bill. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a hard time waiting to attend this dinner. <laughs> Looks like it's going to prove to be the most unusual dinner Naughty Pine City Council has ever sponsored. <laughs> It 
um, looks like everyone's about done, Bill. Maybe we should start the proceedings, huh? Whenever you say, Mayor. Mm -hmm. I'll introduce you. (coughs) (coughs) Folks, um, when it came to choosing the man best suited to tell us what Stumpy Jenkins was really like, well, there wasn't any choice at all. He spends most of his days, most of the time, most of the year, and knows him. Well, almost like they were one person. Of course, I'm referring to our speaker tonight, Chief Ranger Bill Jefferson. Thank you. Ever since the mayor and I first spoke of this evening, I've been looking forward to it with a great deal of pleasure. In trying to decide what to do with the time allotted me this evening to best present what I feel Stumpy would once said, I hit on a game that we like to play. Now, I know this is a little unusual for an after-dinner speech, but I think its uh, meaning will become clearer as we begin to play. This is one of Stumpy's favorite games, and maybe it'll become one of yours. I wonder if I could have three or four volunteers Come on, don't be embarrassed. Well, if Stumpy will enjoy it, I'll participate. Good. Mrs. Purdy has volunteered her services. How about two or three more? Uh, Come on, Herb. You heard Bill say it was one of Stumpy's favorite games. No. Come on. Come on, Herb. Fine, fine. Now, Now, maybe one more man and we can begin the game. What kind of a game is it? Come on up, Ed. You can help us. Okay, why not? Good. Now I believe we're all ready to play. Uh, Stumpy, do you want to tell the rules? Uh, we're playing Tell Me a Story. I kind of thought that's what you were getting to. Well, I'll tell him. Uh, Bill there has got a picture or something. Now, one of you is going to take a long look at the picture, and then we'll put her away. Then the one who's looked at the picture tells one of the others what the picture is. And that one tells the next one, and so on. Until the information has been passed to the last one. Then what? Then the last one tells what he's been told. And we take a look at the picture. (laughs) That's when it gets pretty good. Seems sort of senseless to me. It'll take on all kinds of meaning before we're through, Herb. Have you got a picture there, Bill? Here it is. We'll all have a chance to see it later. I've had it blown up from a newspaper photograph. Okay. Now, suppose you all line up the way you volunteered. That's right, Mrs. Purdy. And then the Rogers. Then you, Ed. Good. Now I'll show the picture to Mrs. Purdy. And nobody else look. Bill, I am beginning to see what this is all about. I thought you would, ma'am. Okay, uh, Mrs. Purdy, have you seen it long enough? Well, certainly. It's a simple enough photograph. Good. Now, uh... We'll just put it face down here on the table, and uh, you tell Mrs. Rogers what's in the picture. Uh, whisper so we can't hear you. <laughs> where, uh, where did you get the idea, Bill? I read about it somewhere, Your Honor. <laughs> Certainly will come in handy tonight. That's fine. Now, uh, you tell her what you've uh, just been told, Mrs. Rogers. Well, all right, but I don't see the point of all this. You'll be surprised. Go on now. <laughs> I say, Bill, uh, how much longer does this game go on? Only until the information has been passed all the way down the line. You done? Yes. Okay. Now, Herb, you tell Ed what you've just heard and... Uh, We'll be able to check the whole thing with the original picture. Well, I guess I might just as well finish it up. Uh, whisper now. Okay. Hey, everybody's wondering what's on the picture, Bill. Uh, will you tell us? I'll let Ed tell everybody first. Then we'll take a look. There! The picture has been explained all the way down the line. All right. Uh, now, Ed, suppose you tell us all what the picture has on it as it's uh, come to you. Well, as I understand it, there's this poor beat-up store in a bad neighborhood. Oh, I didn't say that. (laughs) Please, Mrs. Purdy, if you'll wait just a minute. Uh, Go ahead, Ed. Well, this store must have been a pawn shop. It had a lot of junk in the window. There's a cop standing by the front door telling the owner that his place has been condemned. Uh Ah, anything else? Well, that's about all I remember. Can we see the picture now? I'm afraid you're all in for a surprise. Hold up the picture, Stubby. 
Now let Fred see it, too. Okay, Bill. Oh. Hey, well, that, that's a picture of my store. Why, that's my ad in tonight's paper. <laughs> Folks, I think what happened is rather easy to see. Possibly the word bargains on the window suggested to one of these ladies that the goods inside are less than the best. This led to the store becoming run down as the tale was passed between the others. The sailor, pictured here, looking into the window, became a police officer condemning the building. Oh. By the time the picture had been told about down through those people, it wasn't anywhere near the same picture. Now, I know Fred wouldn't like his store to be thought of as a pawn shop in a poor section of town. <laughs> sure <wouldn't. laughs> the other day, another story finally made its way to us at the ranger station. One that had obviously been passed through many hands. It was a story about Stumpy and me. A story about how we fought and how I was going to fire him from the rangers. Now, just as this picture changed a little at a time, so I presume did this story change a little at a time. But it ended so far removed from truth it was almost impossible for us to believe. Oh, I think that's exactly For the last couple of days, everybody in town has been more than usually nice to me and cold to Bill. We couldn't figure out why. It may seem ridiculous to make such a fuss about a few harmless rumors, but when they can split a town and even turn a couple of close friends to wonder about each other, well, I don't call that harmless. No, folks... I can't tell you what a nice feeling it gives me to think that all of you would come out tonight to a testimonial dinner for me. But it sure puts a chill into that warm feeling to think that there are folks who would spend their time putting together a story like that one about Bill and me. Well, that pretty much is what we have to say. We don't mean to bawl anybody out. We're just glad it didn't do any more harm than it did. There was a missionary in India once who used to keep three questions in front of herself all the time. Maybe we could pass them on to you. They were, is it true, is it kind, and is it necessary? I believe anyone would approve of conversation that passed those three tests. <laughs> As you can see, boys and girls, sometimes people can stir up more action inside their heads than a match in a dry forest. You remember that, won't you? Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago. 